Hello, I'm going to show you how to record, I mean how to open a save file and other things in IDS Simulator. First, I'm going to select Mario and Luigi Partners in Time to show you how to select, open a save file. Next, go to Save Type. Import saves. For any .sav file, select this one, right here. Now we have that loaded. But, it will not save and it will crash your emulator if you do not switch it from flash and 4 bits to EEPROM 512 bits, 64 kilobits. Now it's set. It shall work. Hit the start button. Oops, I forgot to turn off the audio. Works at full speed, normally, properly. And would you look at that? It's working. Now, you may have noticed that mine is two separate windows. You can do that by selecting this button here to lock or unlock the windows. Now, and we figured out how to do that. I'm going to show you how to save your save files. Go to properties, and then you can sell all this stuff later. I'm not doing that. You can select where to put your save files. Otherwise, you can't. Otherwise, your game will not save. I'm going to select my desktop. Okay, your save states, desktop, your screenshots, or your cheat files. I do not know how to work cheat files yet, so bear with me. Okay, so now I'm going to save the game. I'm going to make a save state. Save. I want you to look at that right there. There's my save file. That's only a save state though. That won't reload once you pause the game. It's only for while you're playing it. Now for your save states, I'm going to use this one here. Jump up. Hit the save thing. Otherwise it would freeze right now if I didn't have that save thing I told you about earlier. Save and quit. Now, if you stop the emulation, you close the window, it's right there, your save file. Sweet, huh? Sorry, I have to reload my IDS. When you first load your IDS, it looks like this, right? Well, you can change that and make it two windows. Now work. It's working. Ta-da! So, that's how you work the IDS for those two types. Now we'll do the key configuration. That's pretty easy. You select whatever key you want to change. Let's say this one. You click down here, and you hit R, or whatever key you want to do. And it works. But I don't want to change my stuff. Now, change the guitar heel key config. You can change this too. Just go down here. You can change it to any letter you want. Now, rotation and zoom. This is great for stuff like Guitar Hero. So you go like that. And then open. A ROM, DS ROM. Sorry, I'm finding one. Okay. This is great for games like Brain Age and stuff like that. Because you need. It's always like this. Well, if I didn't have it set how I just did it with the rotation and zoom, then it would look like that. Or even. That's not how it looks, sorry. It would look like that. How are you supposed to play that? So. You go to rotation and zoom. It's like 720, and I can play it properly. You can also select to zoom in to make your game files bigger. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Now, I don't want to do that because that takes up way too much space. Down to one. Okay. Now, this will allow you the frame skip. 
help you um, get past you know certain things it'll let you go faster if you're, you've already played that part and you don't want to do it you can also increase your CP this normal speed by selecting one of these or you can tell it to do it automatic or normal speed this one I would suggest not changing anything because this allows you to see certain attributes of the game if I get rid of any of these layers the game is then changed it may not look like it's changed but eventually once you get rid of all the layers the lines go like that look it's all gone same thing here it's all gone Thinks, huh? So now I fix that. Back to normal. Now you can activate a hinge as well. For games like the Zelda Phantom Hourglass, there was a point where you have to. S the only way to pa get past this part of the game is to. Hold on, I have to turn off the audio again. Um, is hit the is to close the S. Yes. Well, you can't do. You can't exactly close your game. It's not really closable. So you hit this. And it acts like it's closed. You unhit it, and it's gone. It's like it's opened again. Now, there's another way to get to your properties. Is like that. Ooh, ah. So, that's my tutorial. On oh wait, I forgot to show you how to do a screenshot. Hit that button, and now you have a screenshot. Open it with some type of. Look, here we go. So, that's how you work IDS. Goodbye.